Today on Smoky Mountain Faith, Food, and Fun, we're taking a little adventure to English Mountain. You're going to travel east on 411 or Dolly Parton Parkway outside of Sevierville to Blowing Cave Road and you're going to make a right. When you see the signs for Forbidden Caverns, you know you're on the right track, but that's not where we're going today. You know, I can't put my finger on it. There's something fishy going on here. Christy brought me to this place. It's a place we've been before, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to sing for my supper, but here I don't have to, because let me tell you, you're going to be all in hook, line, and sinker here, because if you hook them, they'll cook them. This is English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill is a very unassuming establishment. It is one of the first places I came to when I first moved to East Tennessee 13 years ago and I even did a ride up on them. So it's almost like coming home. And it turns out the man I married is friends with the boss. So we're hoping that Charlie is here today. And hopefully we get to talk to him. But there's the trout pond there. Lots of beautiful rainbow trout going on. This is one of my favorite places for many years now. English Mountain Trout Farm is cash only. Come on in. And there's Charlie. And this is Brooks' buddy, Cody. English Mountain Trout Farm also has gem mining. Uh, we're going to do that today. A one gallon bucket is $15, a two gallon bucket is 25, and a three gallon bucket is 35. Don't forget to take a look at the merchandise. They've got mugs, t-shirts and as well as their seasonings that they use on the fish the lemon pepper and the blackening seasoning the menu at english mountain trout farm is very simple you can choose from the trout dinner you can get fried lemon peppered or blackened and that is $24.99 and you choose two sides they've got mac and cheese green beans coleslaw applesauce and french fries they've got a couple of kids options with chicken corn dogs and mac and cheese appetizers are fried green tomatoes and onion rings there's also a catfish or a chicken platter available and of course they serve coke products and sweet tea and we're going to tell you about a secret menu item mac and cheese and green beans for me you got it and I'm going to have the blackened trout dinner with mac and cheese and coleslaw. And we're going to have some of that amazing trout dip that is not on the menu. So you have to ask for it. Secret right. menu item. Secret, Secret menu, menu item. item. We love it. Okay. 
and we're about to go fishing for our lunch with these old-fashioned cane poles, which they're going to bait with corn. Fish are swarming. They're looking for their lunch. Yeah. They might be lunch. <laughs> It is such a gorgeous day to sit by the pond and enjoy your meal and simply soak it all in. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to hook them so they'll cook in my trunk. All right, let's do this. Well, let's go out here in the middle and see what we get. And I plopped it right out of his mouth. How about that? You got him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Let's see what you got. You got a good one. Yeah. Look at that thing. You gonna hold it? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I better grab him. I better grab him my cat, haven't I? Grab him like that. There we go. Look at that. Got him? Uh, I got him. You got him? I got him. <laughs> I guess it's my turn. <laughs> All right, babe. All right. Let's see what you got. Who's going to be my lunch? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they're jumping for me. We'll put it in the water. He wants it. Got it. There you go. There oh! you go. Got him. Got him. I'll hold him too. Oh. Well, we're stuck on the ferry. There we go. Uh, well, good job, buddy. Oh, he's pretty. Good job. You did good. I wanna... Let's see what you got. Hold on, son. Look at that. Good job. Hello, fishy. Are you going to be lacking lemon, pepper, or fry? <laughs> Once you finish catching your lunch, you can go in the back side of the restaurant where there is an indoor eating area that is air conditioned or you can definitely choose to sit outside it is your choice and there's look hello in the indoor dining area yes. foods are coming look at that So we have here the wonderful secret menu item, the trout dip. This is Christy's personal favorite here. Good old Ritz crackers, trout dip. And we've got hush puppies, which are fantastic. And hey, what would it be without a bottle of tartar sauce and ketchup? That's right. Let's dig in. All right. So I am going to try the trout dip. Now, Your favorite. I have had this before. And Show it us is that. one of my favorite things here. Yes. It is a secret menu item. You have to ask for it. So here goes. Oh. Before, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what you just said. I think oh, that my was, gosh. <laughs> I think that was, oh, it's good. Okay. So if you like tuna salad, you would like this, except the fish is a mild fish. It's not like, a, but it's not like a, a fishy fish. Rainbow um, trout. It's not fishy, but it is smoky and it is so good. So I highly recommend the trout dip and Cody 
told us that uh, he actually takes this stuff up to Nashville once a week for market wagon folks that order this regularly. Yes. So ask for the trout dip. Yes. Mm. <laughs> And it looks like our lunch is just about ready. Now here's what I love about a good hush puppy, and this is when you know it's a good fish place. I want you to watch this. Look at that. It's right. not greasy, just light and fluffy, and man, a little sweet, a little savory. Perfection. Trout dip on a hush puppy. Huh. Trout dip on a hush puppy. How's that? Oh my god. Yeah. We invented a new menu item, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Enjoy that? Mm -hmm. And here's lunch. So for me, I am having the Balakans trout and the mac and cheese and green beans. But the star of the show is definitely the fish. And Brooks and I are actually going to share and I'm going to give him half of my blackened, and he's going to give me half of his fried. That fried just looks amazing. Beautiful hush puppies, coleslaw, great mac and cheese. This is oh so good, and we're going to get into it in just a second. All right. Now, this is actually the first time I have tried the blackened here at English Mountain Trout Farm. But it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Perfectly done. Might have to blow on it. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. It's not fishy. It has a very dense texture, almost like a chicken, but not quite. The black meat seasoning is just enough to give it some good flavor. But it's not overpowering the fish. So right. It's really very good. How about I love that it. coleslaw and mac and cheese okay. there? Okay. Well, here we go. Christy loves coleslaw. <laughs> yep. It's got, it's got, got a mix of the green cabbage and um, purple cabbage. Purple cabbage. Yeah. That's a good sweet coleslaw, y'all. Very good. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ooh, those are big noodles. Big noodles. Very good. It's cheesy. It's a good um, cook well on the noodles. And uh, plenty of cheesy flavor, guys. It's, it's definitely got the cheese going on. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. That is cheesy. Yeah, so if you like cheesy mac and cheese, this is definitely a good choice. Definitely the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like it. So up close here, I want you to see this is good macaroni. You know how you know that? That cheese sauce, it's elbow macaroni, but look at the ridges. And the ridges is what holds in all that cheesy goodness. Good stuff. Thoughts on that? Good stuff? It's good stuff. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> it is a good piece of fish. I'm telling you. Well, that's fine. Hold on. So I got the fried... Look at that. See that? Yeah. All right. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. It's light and just enough breading. It's perfect. I like that. Good yeah. deal. Yum. Yeah. Yep. We have finished up our meal. We're here. We're a good buddy, Charlie Ford. Charlie is the owner of English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. We're going to talk a little bit about the business side and big things coming up. So, 
Charlie, it's good to see you, buddy. Good to see good you, to see too. see you. And uh, so now, English Mountain Trout Farm, you guys have been here for how long now? Well, I've owned the business going into my 20th year. Yeah. But it's been here approximately 50, 60 years. Wow. Wow. Right here. Been in around a long time. time. Long time. Okay. And you guys don't just cook here in the restaurant. You guys do commercial sales for other restaurants. Is that correct? That is correct. We uh, branch out a little bit there and do wholesale to to local restaurants and to uh, to other vendors that uh, you know sell the, the trout. That's awesome. And so we've got a family business going here, right? Family family business. You've got it. So we've got uh, uh, we've got you here with the with the restaurant and Cody is doing sales. Is that correct? Cody's my son. He takes care of most of the outside sales uh, and delivery uh, as well as helps us on the inside with, you know, whatever we have going on there as well. So he, he, you know, he's a jack of all trades like his old man. I guess. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Now you've, um, what, uh, some of the restaurants that you've got in town, uh, some of your big clients, you, you all are actually uh, produce for the peddler and the park grill. Is that yes, correct? One of our so, some, so some of the finer establishments yeah. in the area, you park guys uh, Harry's has been a, a uh, a client of ours, uh, the Park Grill, the Peddler, the Calhoun's, the Cherokee Grill, uh, the Old Mill Restaurant, one of our big uh, uh, customers. So we we have helped a bunch of different ones in this area. Great. That's great. So so if they're getting good trout in this area, they may be getting it from you guys. Well, that's where they get it fresh. That's for sure. We <laughs> we have the freshest trout in town. That's what we like to say, and we know that for a fact, right? So so also. Uh, You've got big things coming up. We do. We, we, you know, being in business for the amount of time that we've been here, you can't help but uh, uh, run into some different ones and, uh, and, and to be noticed by different ones. And uh, 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 Food Network Channel has approached us with uh, doing a show. We, uh, we've done that. Uh, it's already in the books, but set soon to be aired with uh, Guy Fietti with... Uh, all American road trip with Guy, and that was a great experience for our business, our employees, and you know, just all around a fun thing to do. That's great. That's great. And you recently, even so, it's not aired yet. Has not aired yet. No, not aired yet. But you've recently, uh, you went viral and didn't even really know what was going on. Correct. Cor that is correct. That's another thing that was um, uh, unexpected to us, but it turned out has turned out to be a. Uh, uh, a very good blessing to our business and to us personally because we've met that many more people. But a young lady came in uh, uh, and uh, profiled our business on her TikTok account and uh, just told briefly about the, her experience, about fishing, the food, the options, how much fun she had. And uh, apparently people like hearing about it uh, to the tune of about 8 million people so far. <laughs> yes, yes. And then it's also prompted uh, six or eight other TikTok ads. So uh, we're surprised and excited about all of that. And the potential for our business has been amazing. Wow. Wow. So we got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. A lot and, going uh, on. She was a, I, I, saw, I saw the video. Um, it's kind of funny, but she's a she's a, a model from New York City, and uh, that was my understanding anyway from her channel. So to see that that was that was pretty wild, uh, and apparently she loved the fishing, correct? Yeah, yeah, she had a fun <laughs> time, and I mean most people do. Yes, and most people that 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 come here to the trout farm have a great time, and and it, it, you know this is a place you slow down, and and mm -hmm. you don't come here to be in a hurry. You come here to. To rest, to, to have fun, to enjoy a good meal, watch the kids play, watch the kids fish, and gives them a little spot to run around out by the picnic tables. Yeah. You know, when you go out to eat dinner somewhere, it's usually uh, very busy and congested, and of course it's gotten that way here too, but at most restaurants you sit at a table and you're limited to the from your table to the bathroom, and that's it. Here, kids run, jump, play, get in the creek. Uh, check out the gem mining uh, station out there to where you can, you know, look for hidden gems and treasures. Yep. Uh, and then it's just all around good time and fun things. So when you come here, just be prepared to enjoy it. 
That's awesome. That is awesome. And that's good to know, too, because I tell you what, it is a family a family atmosphere here. Sure, it is. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So bring the kids. Come on out, because I tell you what, the Ford family is going to take very good care of you. You've got gem mining. You've got great trout. Make sure you try that trout dip. Ask about that secret menu item. Uh, Charlie's going to need to put that on the website at some point. <laughs> that's just too good. So, Charlie... Always a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming out and visiting us. Thank and you, And enjoying guys. the travel. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Now that we've had an awesome meal at English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill, we're going to take advantage of the gem mining. We've chosen a three pound bucket to mine and we're excited to see what kind of treasures we're going to find. Pretty much all you want to do is to take a little bit of dirt, like so, put it in here, put it down in the water, move it back and forth, gonna just see. Which way, sir? Huh? Yeah. Let's see what we got. See what we come up with. How about that? You see that? Just had a little bit in there. Looks like an emerald, maybe. There you go. And then uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. And here we have all of the different gems we can mine for. Look at that, down by the creek. What a peaceful, peaceful way to spend an afternoon. So we're out here by the creek. See this? Yeah. You know you're in Tennessee. For when one you can take thing, a stick. Take a stick and hit a, and creek. hit a creek. And what are you doing here, my love? I'm fixing to get rich. Are you? I'm gonna mine for Jeff. Is there gold in them there hills? Uh, there's gold in them near hills. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what you got. All right, we just gotta get a so you gonna a shovel, shovel full this here. A couple shovels into your full. sifter. Your this sifter. This isn't like fishing flour. No, this ain't, is it? And he says to swish it and swish it. Swish it, swish it. Back and forth. Yeah. And. Pull that up. Look at that. Look at that. What you got there? Oh, that's a, that might be. What is this? Hang on, let me check. Okay. What you got there? Well, it could be anything. There are several things that look like that, but it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Okay. And then got anything else in there? I don't see anything, so I guess we toss it. Well, all right, now I'm gonna see what I get. All right, find us a diamond, baby. Okay, you ready? Yep. I got a big one right here, ready? Two big scoopfuls going in. All right, ready? I'm ready. Let's sift this bad boy. Oh, there's a big something in there. Working in the mine. Working in the mine. <laughs> Gonna get rich today. No! <laughs> Whoa! That looks like some kind of uh, look here. quartz or something. I got three different things here. Look here. Look at this bad boy. It might be jadeite. Yeah, look at that. I got that. Look at that. I know what that is, but I can't place the Is that quartz? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And look here. Look at this bad that boy. That is some kind of quartz. Yeah, look at that. Look how pretty that is. It is beautiful. It must make like a little paperweight. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. One more big scoop here. What you got? You can tell this is actually dirt. Yeah, that's good dirt. Good old dirt. I've always had like 
fan whenever I've done mine before. Let's see what we got. This is good old dirt. There's something in there. That's something in there. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Quartz. Oh, yeah, look at that. Maybe jadeite. Ooh, there's something a little goldish looking. Oh, that's dirt. It's something, I'm not sure what. Okay. All right. Sift it around for a second there. All right. That's what I got this time. Look at that. Pretty. Look at that, y'all. Whoa. I can't even. There it goes. I'm not sure what it is, but it's beautiful. Wow. The gym out against Hollywood was here eating. Yes. And this young man. Is enamored with we take one out? Uh, gems. Yeah, take them out. <laughs> are you are you okay with going on YouTube? Oh, That's yeah. hilarious. Okay. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love it. That's some cool stuff. This yeah, young yeah. man is loving our gems. What's the oh, yeah. Look at this one. What's the coolest one? I like the gold one. That's gold, right? That's not gold. Iron pyrite, I think. Iron is what pyrite. Is. Okay. Iron pyrite. I'll make you a deal, buddy. We're going to keep the big one, and you can keep the rest. How's no. That? Yes. How you would you like that? You want to take that bag? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, you guys have to do that. Oh, no. Oh. Absolutely. Our pleasure. He will learn, and maybe he'll get into gems and rocks and oh, good things for little boys to be into. Thank you so much. Yeah. Final thoughts. Wrapping it up from the trout farm. English Mountain Trout Farm. Uh, Charlie and Cody and the Ford family are awesome. Uh, I got to gym mine today, which was very cool. We met a new friend in Liam. Uh, he's going to be a geologist when he grows up now. And uh, I would like to be credited with his future success. You know, I'm totally kidding, Liam. So uh, you've got an awesome mom and dad taking you out for adventures like this. Uh, I hope you look back on this fondly. So uh, great food. What can you say? I mean, the trout, you don't get any fresher than that. When they say farm to table, it's pond at the table here. Literally, I caught it. They cooked it. That's what they do. They say, you hook them, we cook them. Uh, the fried is amazing because it's it doesn't feel fried. Go to a place like Long John Silver's, you get this real heavy, greasy feeling. You don't get that here at all, at all. It's light. The hush puppies are light, a little sweet, a little savory, everything good. Macaroni and cheese is awesome because that's not something you would think about at a place like this, but good, good green beans, good coleslaw. Just everything we had was good. And um, like I said, Ford family, very good to us here. So we appreciate them. Um, and we, like I said, it's just a beautiful day outside. If you get the opportunity, please come check out English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill because I promise you're not going to be disappointed here. All right, guys. Final thoughts on English Mountain Trout Farm. These folks are almost like family because we have actually been coming here for years. Um, Brooke said it all about the fish. The blackened trout was amazing. That's the first time I've ever actually had the blackened trout and it, the seasoning is perfect it's not too much not too little and the fish is just incredible the hush puppies are amazing and the trout dip secret menu item seriously get the trout dip it is not fishy but it's flavorful and delicious and um we talked to charlie about uh the the trout farm here and about his um recent uh 
fortune. Newfound fame. And for, for a newfound fame. And Charlie gave us a little bit of a heads up about when the Food Network show with Guy Fieri. What was that called again, Brooks? Guy's Great American Road Trip. Guy's Great American Road Trip. That is going to air on Food Network on June the 9th. So check that out. And we just had a really good time. And uh, when I finished gem mining, we met little Liam. And he just took an interest in my little rock collection. And I said, buddy, I'm going to take home that beautiful Brazilian agate that I found. But you can have the rest. And he just laid out those rocks and uh, had, had a good time. So hello to Liam and your family. Hope you're watching. We Beautiful enjoyed, family. Enjoyed meeting y'all. And uh, met a couple of other subscribers here as well, um, which was kind of cool for us. But uh, don't forget to like the video if you like this content and subscribe and hit the ring. No, don't hit that. That's Brooks. Yeah. Hit the ringy dingy button down there. For Cody. <laughs> and, Let's uh, give him a ringy dingy ding ding. That's right. Yes, Cody is actually in the wrestling world as well. And that's how Brooks kind of knows his family. Owner of NGW. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's right. So uh, this is a great family, family operation. Um, good folks. And definitely come out to English Mountain Trout Farm and you will have a great time and it is so peaceful out here and it's and when we're finished here we're actually going to drive you up english mountain and show you the view from the top so if you finish and you have a good day here you can take a little drive to see a spectacular view that is off the beaten path of the smokies thanks everybody we love you bye, -bye. god bless y'all we love you bye bye So if you'd like to travel to the top of English Mountain to experience an incredible view of the mountains, you're going to turn right out of English Mountain Trout Farm and travel about five miles up the road. You will pass Forbidden Caverns and a couple of old churches and it is just a beautiful drive. We are at the top of English Mountain, and this is the scenic overlook. And they, they believe this overlooks the mountains of North Carolina. It is beautiful. We hope you've enjoyed this view of the Smokies from an off the beaten path area up on the top of English Mountain. We hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.